Hello, Hilarious. good morning, guys. How are we doing this morning? How are we doing? God, don't you love that music? Just gets me in the mood every morning. How are we doing? Anyway, guys, it is Thursday, 27th of uh, July, 2023. It is two minutes past eight this morning, this beautiful Thursday morning. Oh, I say beautiful, it's actually raining where I am at the moment. So, uh, honest to goodness me, where is the summer? I ha You know what? I, th I suddenly thought to myself this morning, since Swithin's Day, I know it's an old, old wives' tale, but, you know, there has to have been some um, truth in it at some point mustn't there because otherwise why would they why would they bring it so yeah it rains for 40 days and 40 nights after july the 15th and it has been so far anyway guys welcome to the show this morning i hope you are well just before we go please do hit a like smash a like on that video please that would really help us get the word out subscribe to the channel if you haven't already turn on that little notification bell and of course drop all your comments down below as you usually do uh, so you can join in the discussion and the debates um, this morning um, as we kick off. So let's have a look and see who is in the house. We have got Carl Bull. Good morning to you. I am well, thank you. Uh, I don't know, but we certainly have. We're going to have a look at our, our new goalkeeper this morning. Uh, Rob, Ronald Wilkin, good morning to you. Darlow Exposed, is, isn't he really a goalkeeper? Does he cook burgers outside the Newcastle? <laughs> I don't mean disposed. Actually, I don't mean exposed in a in a in a negative way. By the way, just an expose on uh, Carl Darlow. Good morning, lovely Amy. On a wet and miserable day, I know Amy, but you being here makes my morning a lot, um, a lot, um, a lot brighter, shall we say? Good morning, Jess. How are you doing? Our res resident female football expert is in the house. That is Jess. Nice and early this morning. Good morning, mate. Stephen, hi, how are you? Another Stephen. Good morning, Stephen Ward. Dollar will be 400k. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, Colin. How are you doing, my friend? Uh, I'm good. I'm good this morning. I know we are. We do seem to be getting a bit of a bargain with old Carl, don't we? Um, James Smith, how are you doing? Same to Carl, uh, Chris Frost. I haven't seen you in the chat, mate, before. Maybe I've missed you. If I have, I do apologise, but uh, you're very welcome. And good morning, Paul Darmra. Good to see you. Uh, Acom Tony, my dog doesn't want to go out because it's too wet. So I'll be able to watch the live show today. Tony's not going to be on the beach. He's going to be in the show. Well, it's, it's lovely to have you and that beautiful doggy of yours. I hope he is or she is uh, well. Uh, I know, Richard, good morning. Richard, our, our roving uh, uh, eye, eye in the sky. <laughs> Ear to the ground, that is, uh, Richard. Um, yeah, Pascal has said he's not, it's not leaving, which is good. Good morning, Leeds United Old School. How are you? Um, yes, White Snakes, you're early. Oh, bless. <laughs> I was on time this morning, can I just say? You've got to appreciate how much time it takes me to get ready in the morning. My God, I've got it down to a fine art. Um, let's have a look. Robin, good morning to you in sunny South Africa. I hope you are well, my friend. Uh, Andy, good morning. Andrew Walker, all the usual, the usual Leeds Bird Breakfast Club in the house this morning. It's fantastic. A big uh, free kisses from Zandra. Zandra's obviously feeling the love this morning. Good morning, Evie. Um... Chris Richmond, hello, how are you? Racing fan, racing fan, are you off? Oh no, I keep, when I see racing fan, racing fan, I, I keep thinking it's, uh, what you call it, uh, horse racing, um, but uh, it's obviously motor racing. Stevie Marsh, good morning to you, new person in the chat. Uh, nice to see you, Liam, good morning, White Snakes. Gets you in the, no, no. You deliberately misheard that, didn't you? Sorry, I'm just like, Getting my flyaway hair sorted out. Uh, you know that I said mood. Um, good morning, D.L. Smith. How are you doing? David Petty. Morning, Kate. You're wide awake. I am. I am. I'm ready to rock and roll this morning. Um, Craig Abella. That was a Cagney and Lacey theme tune. That was a Cagney and Lacey theme tune, mate. Um, which is my... Um, my... 
th my theme tune to this show, uh, Eugene. It's actually a remix of it, to be honest. Uh, good morning, Eugene, with a lovely name. Uh, have a lovely, fun-filled day. Hopefully good news coming out of the club. So, yeah, we say that every day, don't we? <laughs> We've been saying that for the last two weeks. Hopefully some new signings today. Hopefully some good news coming out of the club today. And then what happens? <laughs> Charlie Crew joins the Youth Academy. I mean, you know. <laughs> Yeah, you you've got to like you've got to like laugh, haven't you? You've got to look for all the positives, guys. Um, do 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 Patrick Bamford smash the like? Do, 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 do. Yep, Justin is in the house. Do smash a like, guys, if you'd be so kind. Um, we have got 155 people br bright and early this uh, this Thursday morning. Jihei, 94, good morning. I'm very good, thank you. I hope you are. Um, Alison, good morning, my lovely. How are you doing? Zandra, anyone think there might be a badge change on the third church? Sure, I keep seeing the peacock badge a lot. If so, a massive fan, the peacock was the best badge we ever had i know do you think we are trying to get back to our roots with the 49ers do you think good morning gary davis dj in the house steve dickinson yeah i think that would be a good idea and then the camels could play in defense yeah because i think they'd be they'd be quite good they'd cover quite a lot of um a lot of space, wouldn't they, at the back line? <laughs> it takes them getting past. <laughs> Nigel D, good morning to you, mate. Missed you yesterday. Uh, good morning, Sam. Hello, how are you? Morning, Kate Lass. Good morning, Sam. Where are you from? I haven't seen you in the chat before. You're very, very welcome. St. Helens White, morning, two up, nine to go. Yes. Lily 89 Ayop, how are you doing? Jag, good morning to you. Finally catching your live. Jag with the great, um, Jag has got an amazing, um, an amazing, what do you call it? Um, uh, um, you know, uh, oh my God, icon. I can't see it. I can't say it. Actually, uh, just bear with me one second. You're right, guys. I was sent this yesterday and, oh God, excuse me. I've just like rucked up my, rucked up my rug. Hang on a minute. Oh, dear. oh God, sorry. Sorry, everybody. Right, I got sent this yesterday. Can you see it? Uh, Marcelo Bielsa, um, and it is by Rocco. I've got to plug this because he sent me a free cop copy. Uh, it's um, by Rocco Dean, who who you probably know from uh, Leeds at. And uh, he, he sometimes goes on Joe's. But yeah, I mean, this is an amazing book. And it's a sequel to his, um, to the Damned United one, I think. So um, yeah, it, the previous book, Marcelo, Marcelo Bielsa v. The Damned United. So I'd really recommend you go out and buy that. That is fantastic. I can't wait to get into it. I've got so many books on the go, though, guys. Do you know what I mean? So many books. So many books, not enough time. Because, like, where the hell do you get the time to read them when you're trying to create content? <laughs> And then by the time it comes to night time, I'm absolutely so knackered. I need to go to bed really early. Well, not really early, but anyway. What does our French keeper do now? I don't know, Bruce. Could you tell us? Uh, hopefully, goes on a goes on a gets gets transferred out and frees up some cash. Good morning, Jim. How are you, Edward Longshanks? You're very very welcome. God Almighty, pardon my French, but who's in that? Who's that in that in your picture? I know, where's Kelly? I think Kelly might have dialysis on a Thursday. So if she has, Kelly, and you're watching, we're thinking of you. I hope it is okay. I hope you are okay. I know, White Snake. Nice for noticing. Yeah, good. Um, let's have a look. Gary, good morning. Not, we're just getting through the, we're just getting through the good mornings first. Michael. Oh, God, Michael, you in the tune. The lovely tune. Oh, I love Newcastle. I haven't been there for so long. Yeah, right, Jim. Um, 
Good afternoon, Dave from Trang. Oh my God, you're so lucky. Morning, Kate. Have a good one. Ashley B from Shosh, Shrop, Shropshire. Ash Black, you're so welcome. Welcome to the show. Um, what? Uh, be quirky morning yes morning eric oh nige dorset was it nice you've been on a bit of a summer break have you um morning all spanish whites in the house graham wood robinson is in the house sam wordingham in new york david james morning sexy pants hope you have a fantastic day <laughs> sexy pants I haven't been called that in a long time, David. Um, you get to a certain age and people don't think that you are. Um, oh, Kevin. So thank you so much. Kevin Otto, you're so kind, mate. Get yourself a cheap bottle of wine from the supermarket for the first I think I'm going to need a bottle. I think I'm going to need a bottle of cheap wine to watch the Forest game, to be honest with you, mate. Um, but thank you. That's so kind. I also want to say a big shout out to Coniston yesterday for the super chat. That was very, very kind yesterday as well. I do appreciate it, guys. Uh, it all goes into the Worldwide Tour Fund. Um, good morning, Tim from Bristol. Ke uh, Evie, can't believe we're getting done. I know. I know. Oh, Jim thoughts are with you man like seriously it's awful thank you justin thank you uh yeah i'm i'm yeah yeah everybody's saying good luck jim and bex loves leeds is saying good luck to you as well we're all thinking of you mate and we're thinking of kelly and we're thinking of our lovely friend um michael who's going through it at the moment michael yates our member of the leedsburg collective and member of the breakfast club always comes on and he's going through it big style at the moment guys so just sending out some love to him as well um if he's listening or if he watches it back we are thinking of you mate um there's a lot of people in this little community who you know the thing is this is why i always say like be kind to people because you never know what they're going through you know you never know what's going on behind the scenes and it kind of like makes me quite emotional when i think about this um, you know, there's so many people, so many beautiful human beings that are going through shit and nobody deserves, nobody deserves that. So sending loads of love to you guys and um, we're all thinking of you. Nice has been visiting friends in Bournemouth for a few days, still found it difficult to accept they're in the PR. I know. Whose fault is that though, mate? Do you know what I mean? Anyway, yeah, Colin says, in my prayers, guys, absolutely. So, guys, what I want to do this morning, I'm just going to run through a little bit of news. Um, we, 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 we came across yesterday. It's been sort of, uh, sort of preempted today. Um, just, just so I can sort of recap, uh, keep you in the loop, which you probably know anyway, of course. Um, Mike McGrath reporting yesterday in the Daily Telegraph that Crystal Palace are in, interesting in Crease Somerville. Um, they want, obviously, a replacement for Wilf Zaha, um, who went to Galatasaray and actually snubbed a 200 grand a week offer from very generous offer i thought from uh, palace although he is a great player um but i guess he wanted he was sick of it he wanted to move on uh, which is absolutely fair enough and you know what i kind of feel the same way about um about somerville to be honest with you guys you know he's he's an amazing talent he deserves to play in the prem we'd all like him to stay i'm kind of think i'm kind of taking a little bit more of a pragmatic approach to all these uh, signings you know first of all you know, bear with me. I had to actually, like yourselves, get used to the fact that we were in the um, in the championship. And then, of course, you get very sort of protective about your players, don't you? You know, oh, I don't want Willie to go and I don't want Cree and I don't want Sinny to go. I want to hold on to them. You get very protective of them. Um, but at the end of the day, you have to be pragmatic. And after a, after a long think and a, a sort of, you know, um, bit of soul searching on this matter because it does matter it does it is important I, th I think the one thing I've always had a problem is with is if they went to uh, one of our relegation rivals last year which of course was um, the Toffees um, but you know I think uh, so I think Somerville could do very well at Palace I think Roy would um, would do, would 
do a lot for him. I think he'd develop well. I think there's absolutely no reason why if... And you know what I liked about that yesterday as well? It was that Palace actually said that we are... Uh, we're waiting to see what Leeds' plans are for him. So uh, they're not coming in to try and swoop with a, with a, with a, a ridiculous offer, which is good. Um, and, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't, you know, oppose him going. If the guy wants to go and play and develop, which I think that he, he would do at Palace, absolutely fair play. But we do need to get a decent transfer for, fee for him. Um, yeah, absolutely. Let's see what you guys are saying about, um, um, uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, thanks, Alison. Um, yeah, totally agree to change the badge. The victory shield was a Risdale concept. Yes. Um, P Peacock or Al, I'm fine with it. Uh, Andre Sons and Cover says, hello, feeling positive today. Leeds goes up second. I'd be happy with that. Um, good morning to Andy. And, no, Snoopy today. Where's Snoops then, Andy? Yeah, excuse me. The guys are, are talking about the badge, cha badge change. Badge change is okay, isn't it? Badge change is okay as long as it's something positive and there's lots of peacocks flying around the place at the moment. Not literally. Last time I looked. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I, I would be quite happy with that. Um, Jer put out this. Have you seen the like the new mock-ups of the of the away kit? Th that black one. Oh my god, I absolutely love it. Um, and I've got some news. Well, it's good news for me because you know I was talking about the the, the 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 kits and the fact that I love the blue one, but the green one I couldn't stand because of that mint green bit on it. I think it's gross personally, but they do a training top. In, in the in the darker green they do a training top in the in the darker green I think um, yeah so I, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm really happy about that because that basically means that I will be go, able to get a green training top because I'm partial to a bit of green guys um, and I can't wait to get that um, and uh, guys 222 in the house this morning already at eight uh, 19 minutes past eight on this wonderful Thursday morning. I hope you're all well and uh, please do smash a like. Let's see if we can achieve parity this morning. We've got 74 likes so far. Please do smash a like so we can uh, get those up. Now, let's see what else we've got. Uh, yeah, Ampadu and Darlow. Yeah, great business so far. Actually, uh, absolutely. Um, morning, just find out. Yeah, send, uh, sell and reinvest in the squad. For Melier, Jess says absolutely right. Uh, and God, you know, you're getting like, if you're getting players like Darlow for 400k, that is a snip, isn't it? Uh, sorry, what's going on here? That is an absolute snip. So, um, I mean, that is good business, isn't it? Um, be quirky, will be ashamed to see the bromance in between Somerville and Nante, but have faith in fuck. I know, I agree. And I did actually think to myself when I heard that um, Somerville thing yesterday, I did actually think that um, um, that that Nonto, if Nonto's going anyway, those two are going to be broken up, aren't they? So um, th that's, I guess, what you've got to think about. Andres, none of our players played in the Premier League level last season and now they're leaving, leaving us with an even weaker squad, but Farka has to turn it around. I think he will, though. I think, like, as, a be as, as uh, somebody's just said, um, you know, great signings so far, Ampadu and Darlow. Um, and we're going to go into Darlow a little bit more in a bit. Um, oh, bless you, Jim. And me to you, mate. You're, you're sound, you are. You're absolutely sound. And, and I appreciate you coming on here and, and chatting the way you do, because you do speak a lot of sense. Um, oh, Bryn says, watch Clough and Reavy meeting against last night. Both uh, opinions spot on. Okay, Cluffy did rest his case, so R.I.P. both. I know, I know. Life's funny, isn't it? I mean, funny, I don't mean funny, funny. It's funny, peculiar. P peculiar. You get these great, amazing people. Just mo moments in time in the great big scheme of things. Um, I don't know why my camera keeps going out of focus. Just uh, let me get that back on. I do apologise. Right. OK, um, let's have a look. Um, aim for 15 for, to 20 million for some of it. I think absolutely that is what we need to be. We need to be looking at. I would say towards the 20 million mark. Um, but, you know, what do I know at the end of the day? We want to get as much money as we can, don't we? But 50 to 20 million sounds good. 
All oh, right, Andy's at work. Morning, Debbie, our resident Wolves fan, and Chris in lovely Munich. Any um, this is really weird. Why? Why is my camera going funny? I don't know what's going on here, guys. I do apologise. It was blurring up a little bit. Um, oh, the new merch. The new merch. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I will as soon as I get one. Um, good morning from Munich. Any any news on Harry Kane yet, Chris? Um, yeah, bargain. Darlo, less than a million. Great deal. What happened to the five million price tag? I know. Who's that, who's that Joe Tiffany guy? Does anybody know him? What the going on with my camera guys i'm so sorry i don't know what the hell's going on with this um uh, i think that's all right is that all right i don't know i don't know what's going on sorry i love your channel so raw and on the money prediction for me top four and i think we'll pick up traction second half of the season that's really really good david thank you so much for that really really appreciate it um yeah oh i love the red heart at the end uh carl need this striker asap i'd be happy to see yeah i know yes evie our resident financial um what 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 are we calling you uh well channel moderator even though i haven't uh, done the spanner yet <laughs> somebody said to me have you got have you given name uh, uh evie a spanner yet i don't think that was a euphemism a euphemism but i i haven't but i will do uh let's have a look bex lovers leads cree nonto strike melier will be our most profitable assets if sold one or more of them will have to go we're stacked on the wing so some of them make sense he would do well at Palace. absolutely i absolutely agree with you um i think melier i mean could you imagine if we like i wonder if that's like the, the kind of thing melier and somerville off uh and keeping nonto and strike perhaps um yeah, absolutely. Joe, Joe Clymer. Clymer, Clymer, good morning to you, my friend. Good morning. We have 240 in the house this morning, guys. Please do smash a like. If you have not already, that will be absolutely amazing. Colin Blackshaw, still need... We, yeah, I know we do. And as you can see by the countdown to Cardiff, at the top, guys, we have nine days, 15 hours and 35 minutes to Cardiff. And, uh, you know, where are our strikers? We've got a new goalkeeper. We've got um, a new d defensive midfielder. Where the hell are, are the strikers? Where's the number nine and uh, uh, number 10? Oh, Richard. <laughs> Richard, you're so, I'm, go I'm going all like, you know. Um, Debbie, we do, why do players who are not good enough for Premier League or want out? I know, because they think they're better than they are. They think they're better than they are. That I think that is that is what it what what, what it is. Debbie, good morning, Kevin. Uh, have you seen the possible lineup v Cardiff? Who are these players? I know I haven't. No, I haven't thought that far ahead yet. <laughs> I think he is. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, listen, that's tickled me, that has. Well, he's criticised me a couple of times. Uh, all, I, all, I, all I'll say is that he's 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 pull, tried to pull me up a couple of times on some of my tweets, this guy. And I don't know who he is, but he's got a blue tip next to his name. Do you know what I mean? I, he pays eight ninety nine a month to have a little blue badge next to his name. <laughs> so he must be important. I don't know who he is, but he must be important. Uh, get, let's have a look. Eugene, Kate, it's brilliant to see the up and coming from the other 21s getting a chance. Someone once said if they are good enough, they're old enough. I, I agree. Um, and I'm really excited about Archie Gray coming forward, you know, coming into play this season. Um, really can't wait for that. Uh, yeah, exactly, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> I think anybody that's anybody who's of any importance in this day and age doesn't pay for a blue tick uh, because they, they don't feel that they need to and they don't want to, you know, uh, it's bizarre, isn't it? 
Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Blinks, how are you? Oipa, I think the team we start with tonight will mainly be the side we start against Cardiff. That could very well be the say. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Let's quick. Let's go on to. Um, let's go on to uh, a little bit of this this uh, Darlo um, stuff I've got for you this morning, guys. Um, so, uh, Keith Downey uh, from Sky Sports. Um, tweeted this this morning eddie howe confirms carl darlow will travel to leeds for a medical tomorrow and he posted this today so uh this was literally uh a, earlier this morning understand the fears in the region of around about 400k um and there he goes uh Carl Darlow, he, he tweeted this on the 25th, uh, close to getting agreeing a deal to join Leeds United. Had looked set for Bournemouth, but Leeds offering a bigger fee. And Cherries have signed Radu from Inter. Darlow will travel back for UK to medical soon. So I saw that. Um, and obviously he's confirmed it today. It's going to be tomorrow. So that would be great. So that practically confirms that, that Carl Darlow, I would say, I would suggest, will be starting in... Um, in goal for us against Cardiff, hopefully. Now, but let's just have a little look at who this guy is because a lot of people have been kind of, you know, don't know whether I like him. Is he good? He's not that good. You know, we can do better, I think, was the, uh, some people have said. Those those guys who have been crying out for Sam Johnston um, and uh, Freddie Woodman have said we can do better. So I thought, let's just have an objective look at this. I don't know, right? I'm, I'm doing an objective look here. I've got no... Uh, I'm not a goalkeeping expert. I'm not ITK. Um, but all I will say is as a fan, which I always say, I'm only a fan. Uh, what we can do is is look at him objectively. Um, James says, um, yep. 240, 240, uh, says Deal Smith and 112 likes. Come on, guys. If you are watching, please do smash a like. Hi, Coniston. Thank you so much. I thanked you earlier for your super chat yesterday, which I, I really appreciated. Oh, Matthew Jolly's in Coventry. Uh, right. You and us are, we, apparently we're fighting it out for this right back. Um, <laughs> gotten his name, but, uh, which is quite bizarre. But anyway, um, Oh, really, Jim? Jim, do you work in the NHS? Do you? Oh, yeah. There you go. Um, yeah. Um, good morning, uh, Abdul. How are you? And how's your family? Hey, listen, it's good to see you. What do you think about Mbappe, 259 million to Allah and your first footballer billionaire at age 27? What do I think about it? Well, I was quite excited to listen to Potch yesterday and the links he's got to, to that. So I don't know whether the Al Al Hilal deal's been done. Has it? I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. Uh, oh, right. Chris is saying now that to Joe, what's he called? Can't remember. God is, guys, it's early. Uh, the um, Joe guy, the guy who owns Spurs, is no longer the owner, so the Kane deal might not go through. Oh, uh, God. Um, Oh, bless you, Acom. Thank you so much. Gwyn, good morning. I am a late arrival to you this morning. That's fine. Better late than never, mate. Uh, yes. Um, good day, West Aussie Lees. Good day from the land of West Oz. Got a feeling the next few days we'll see movements in and out. Sell Somerville and Mez for big pounds and getting a striker left back and CDM. Maybe that is their plan. Um, I know. I know. Yeah, there you go. Jess says, let me just get rid of this. Me. Jess says he's not going, Abdul. I don't think he's going. I don't know. Uh, Richard, yesterday I see Kate, we still want to sign another six players. Two centre-backs, two central midfields, one striker, one goalkeeper. That is Darlow. Okay. Yeah, me too, mate. Zandra, I've been on an ITK Twitter account blocking fest recently and fancy paying for a blue tip when you're a nobody. I know it's pathetic, isn't it? It's so pathetic. It's ridiculous. Well, more money than sense, guys, and an elevated sense of their own importance. Guys, uh, 250 in the house this morning. Please do smash a like. No Mr. P so far. I wonder where he is. Uh, but Mr. P, if you are listening, do put an appearance. We uh, we miss you. Um, 
uh, I'm hoping Leeds United Old School, it's going to be that black one. That black one looks absolutely amazing. Uh, oh, bless you, Jim. God, May, I hope you're all right. I hope you and your family are all right. Yeah, Bjorn says Mbappe, Mbappe turned Saudi down. Good for him if that's what he did. You know, I'd much prefer to see him. Wouldn't you love to see him in the Prem? I mean, for goodness sake. Um, yes, uh, Joe Lewis, that's it, Jim. Sorry, thank you for that. Right, let's get on to a little bit of Cardalo. What I wanted to do, that I've got two clips I want to show you this morning, guys. The first one is Darlow's penalties. Uh, and then I'm going to I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, a few of those in particular. Let's have a look at this thing, guys. And Bentner is foiled by Darlow. It was a poor penalty. Too close to the keeper. Double height. You can see Bentner. What is it about Nicholas Bentner? He just cannot seize his chance. And so many of them at Arsenal. Flitted in and out of the first team. Was, was slow to become interesting. Yep. It's gone down well with his former supporters. Been pushed to one side. It's Henry Lansbury fresh from a hat trick last week. This for parity at half time. And Darlow again. And he saves the follow up. With two penalties saved, Nuke with two men sent off. And remarkably, the leaders are going to go in ahead at half time. And that, guys, was the season that he actually went, they actually went on to get promoted back to the Premier League. He was obviously, he was. Um, um, Rafa, Rafa Benitez's uh, go-to keeper. He was uh, the first choice, and I think uh, he did um, absolutely, um, absolutely amazing there, saving two penalties in the same match. Um, I thought that was brilliant. Um, and another one, Zandra. I, uh, sorry, Evie. Evie just asked for the link uh, to the black ones because uh, you haven't seen it. I, yeah, I will. Um, Evie, are you on Twitter? If you're on Twitter. Um, Follow me and I'll send you it because uh, that's where I see it. That's where I saw it. Uh, there was some mock ups and it was absolutely lovely. Um, like I, I said, what I actually said, God, that camera's going mad again. I actually said that um, that I wouldn't buy a shirt this year. Um, but I tell you what, if that if that away, away shirt comes out, I will be uh, making a purchase uh, at some point. I would imagine over the course of the year, right? So that was da that was Darlow's penalties. Here's a little uh, compilation of the guy. Um, yeah, Richard said we can now swap Bamford and Melio for Mbappe. Richard, are you going to make up the difference? You're probably only going to have to find about you know seventy million. <laughs> no, actually, one hundred and seventy million. Probably just look down the back of your couch, Richard, yeah? Um, yeah, lots of love in the house for um, Jim this morning. <clears throat> All right, Evie's not on Twitter. Um, do you follow me, Evie? Um, I'll, I'll send you a... <clears throat> I'll send you a... Um, <clears throat> excuse me. A, what do you call it? A picture. Uh, yeah, all the hit leaks look Photoshop. I think they are. I think they're just mock-ups. That's what I understood them to be. Uh, let's have a look then at some of Darlow's... Um, Best bits, shall we call it? A little bit of a compilation there of Carl Darlow's saves and misses. It has to be said. It saves and misses. So the guy isn't perfect, um, but, you know, at the end of the day, uh, what, what you know, what goalkeeper is. So let's have a look um, at some stats then. This is where I want to show you because I did do a little player comparison this morning and I want to show, I want to share that with you guys. So let's have a look at this then. So here we have, um, 
sorry, you can't see that. Let me just see if I can move that up like that. There we go. So what I did is I compared um, Carl Darlo, Freddie Woodman. These are the guys that have been sort of people have been saying we should get in with Sam Johnston and Victor Johansson of Rotherham. And basically, you can see here, if we look at the... Um, we've got goals against. So obviously... We, the, the, the match is played, okay, so what we need to be looking at are, are the percentages, right? Um, so this is Carl Darlow in 22-23, and this is Freddie Woodman in the, uh, and these guys throughout their career. But if you look at the save percentage, so this is the shots on target, okay? Save percentage, Carl Darlow is, so it comes out of 75 all right, um, as opposed to Freddie Woodman, 68, uh, Sam Johnston, 71.5, and Victor Johansson, 73. I mean, these, Darlo Johnston and Johansson obviously are, you know, uh, in the lead, but with Darlo winning that, and I know he's older, guys, but, you know, a goalkeeper isn't necessarily, if, he's, if his reactions are pretty good, and this is all, obviously, don't forget, when he was at Hull. So, um, yeah. And um, uh, in terms of wins, um, won three, uh, drew, drew six, um, and um, lost. But look at the clean sheets. Clean sheets for Cardalo. He comes out on top. 41.7 as opposed to 34, 31, 31. So for me, you know, I, the, I like these figures. Um, you know, again, call me naive. Uh, I don't really know, but I, you know, I like them. I think they're pretty decent. Uh, what do you think? Are, are we all sort of in the Darlow camp now, guys? Um, yeah, Colin says 32 experiences is what we need. Yeah, Evie says at the end of the day, Melier's never saved uh, uh, a penalty. Uh, Thank you so much, LUFC Gamer. That really means a lot. Welcome to the show. I haven't seen you here before. You are, you are uh, very, very welcome. Um, Jess, yeah, he said, Jess says he just needs to play consistently. He does. I think they all do, don't they, Jess? Do you know what I mean? They all, they all need to play consistent, consistently. Right, Carl, good business. Nick Hammond must have called in a favourite. Newcastle, yeah, absolutely. Do you think uh, that would be good? Michael Pollard, um, the... Yeah, Michael's gone in the uh, Michael's gone in the, uh, the 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 B the 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 PB um, combo there. Um, oh really? I don't think so. There's no way. There's I don't think so. Put your hands up if you think. Um, put your hands up. What we're talking about? I'm like you know at school. Are you all at school? Let's see if I can put a little poll. Uh, where are we? Let's go here. Um, um, oh, Darren, thank you so much for the super chat. That is so kind. Um, I really, really appreciate that. Let me just get back here. Um, that is so kind. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, I'm going to put a poll up. Um, and I'm going to say... Um, okay, um, there you go. Do please, guys, let us know. Let me know what you think about that. Is Carl Darla going to start as a number, number two behind Melier or is he going to be our number one goalkeeper? Darren, again, thank you very much for the super chat. Let's see who else we've got. Um, Robin, hello. Uh, and Kate, you pull up another first objective clip of Darlo showing good and not so good. Yeah, absolutely. Because I thought it was important for us to get a look at like, you know, he's not perfect. No goalkeeper is perfect. But in terms of penalty saves, in terms of clean sheets, let's talk about his uh, um, his clean sheets. Um, when he was, 
you know, when he was at Newcastle, um, he kept 13 clean sheets in 34 appearances. You know, that is a hell of a lot better than what we've got at the moment. He conceded just 32 times in the process. Um, basically, yeah, um, his penalty, he's got, he saved two penalties in that uh, December 2016 game against Forrest. Um, and um, let's have a look. Um, yeah, he was also a regular during the 2021-22, sorry, 2020-21 season um, in the Premier League ca uh, campaign against Newcastle and um, played 152 times in the championship, guys, 48 clean sheets. Um, you know, and I think um, what what I said yesterday, didn't I? I, I can't remember whether I, did I say it yesterday in my, in our, um, in this set uh, or the, the, the other video that I do. Anyway, Eddie Howe basically um, 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 had not been comfortable. Eddie Howe said he wasn't entirely comfortable actually letting, him, letting Darlo go out on loan to, um, to Hull. Um, but he said he was an amazing servant to the club yesterday, didn't he? He really, really praised him. He pra pra praised his work ethic, um, his contribution to the side. Um, and so I think, you know, he, is, he's, he will be a positive influence and a really strong kind of dep dependable figure at the back. Listen, I'm not expecting miracles, but you have to be pragmatic when you're looking at these things. You know, the stats speak for themselves. At the end of the day, the guy's stats are good. Um, maybe what I'll do is a career. Um, I wonder if I can do a career. Um, I, I'll, I'll see if I can find a career percentage for, for Darlo but at the end of the day his stats for me are are good so I've got nothing uh nothing against the guy and I hope I back him you know um let's have a look uh Bex all I remember of Darlo is when we put five past him in 2021 this analysis is making all comfort. <laughs> like I said like I said Bex you know at the end of the day it is um no one's perfect are they um as long as he doesn't do that this season um, you know, chilled Scotty 82. How are you? Good morning. If the fee for Darlow is 400 K, then that is good business. My friend, I absolutely agree with you. Um, uh, West Aussie leads Darlow must start over Mez. I'm sick of Mez being chipped or beaten at the post. Absolutely. And his positioning is not that great either. Is it, um, Melier's position? Oh yeah. Lee's just said that Melier's position is terrible. Uh, yeah, Evie, I think. Hi, Gil. Good morning. It's funny how all the Geordies think Darlow is crap now. We're signing him for 400 I don't agree. I don't agree with that. Um, when you say all the Geordies, that's a bit of a sweeping generalisation, isn't it, um, Gil? Is that not, is that not a bit of a sweeping generalise, uh, generalisation? Um... And look, it's Gil's birthday today. There you go, Gil. Have a great day, my friend. I hope we celebrate tonight with a, a win over Forest. <laughs> Not quite sure where the goals are going to come from, but anyway, hope we hope we win. Um, yeah. Uh, I noticed that, but I didn't want to say anything because you know what? I've had enough. I'm not. I, I can't even be bothered to talk about him. I, I had a period before when I, when I I couldn't be bothered to talk about him, and I said I wasn't going to talk about him, and I'm not going to talk about him anymore. I can't be bothered. Uh, but yeah, I noticed that. Um, the reason I talked, I spoke about it the other day was basically because the guy said he was staying, or somebody said he was staying at the club, and we all sort of went. Oh. But you know, you never know. You know, miracles do happen. Um, let's have a look. Kate, Amy says, I think that was one of the reasons he chose Leeds over the Cherries. Is he didn't want to play second fiddle as he'd done at Newcastle. Therefore, I think he's number one. Absolutely, I think. There's no way he'd come if he was going to be number two. I think they're going to offload Melier to somebody else. Uh, but we might, we, we might lose cash for him, you know. The amount of penalties that the EFL refs will give us against could be vital with Darlow. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, Michael, I know, but Melier seems to have... Listen, I've been an advocate of Melier all last season, right? 
But for me, I think that he has now, he wants to leave. He wants to leave. Um, and when, it's like when you're in a job, you know when you're in a job and you kind of hand your notice in, you kind of switch off for the, the notice period, don't you? Um, and I, I kind of think that's what he's done. He wants to leave. Um, he doesn't look interested to me. His mind is kind of elsewhere for me. I think I think basically that he 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 he's desperate to get a move out of Leeds United, and you know he would go with my blessing. No no malice or animosity, because I I backed him, and I think you're absolutely right there, Michael. I do think a lot of his issues last year were the fact that he uh, was let down by an absolutely appalling defence. But um, once your 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 confidence is that shot. And you've had enough. You're kind of mentally in a, in a in another in another place. And I think he wants to move on. So he would go with my blessing. Uh, I don't think he's the right person for us moving forward, because largely of that. And don't forget, as you know, as much as the championship is uh, is a physical league, uh, you also need we also need that winning mentality. We need people with proven experience to help us get back up to um, the Premier League, Carl Darlow, um, and somebody who's confident in goal, Carl Darlow, might not be perfect, as I've just shown through that video, but I think that he is a good move for us moving forward. Um, morning or morning, Kate, Carl Darlow, very good signing. Jules says, sorry, hi, Jules. Uh, very good signing. Experience is what we need. Hello, my lovely. Thank you. Oh, Michael Yates, thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. Listen, I just said, I don't know whether you were listening or watching or whatever earlier in the in, in the stream, but uh, we are thinking of you and uh, hope you are as well as, you, as as can be expected. You're very welcome, my friend. Um, yeah, can't. Yes, yes. But again, is he is it all his fault? Don't know. I think it, it got so bad at the back last season, didn't it, that. You know, Melier just couldn't do right for doing wrong. He got, you know, he, he his head was fried. I just, he should have been taken out earlier last year and, and helped more uh, mentally, I think, instead of being, you, you know, uh, thrown to the walls every week. Um, yes, he will need better centre-backs in front of him. Well, Richard, our resident reporter on the ground, has said this morning that uh, apparently we're looking at two centre-backs. That's what we want to sign. So hopefully that will happen. Uh, Lappers says, good morning to you. Maybe the confidence will flow forward to our crumbling defence. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, that's what we need. And Darlow would be probably quite, quite a leader, I imagine. So, uh, yeah. Um, Blinks, hope we get a new striker. Mel will be gone next week, says Colin. Uh, yeah, hopefully. Um, I remember Darlow playing for Newport in the conference. Yes, he did, didn't he? He went on loan to Newport. Basically, Carl Darlow, uh, just to give you a, a, a quick... I mean, he's, he's earned his stripes, hasn't he? And he's actually the grandson of uh, former Wales international Ken Leake, but he was released by the Aston Villa Academy um, in uh, 16, and then he was sent to Forest. And from Forest, he got sent out on loan to um, uh, Newport County and Warsaw. And it was after that that he um, he he was sent to um, 2016, 2017. He, um, I think, was it then? Was it then that he went uh, to to? I think that that was uh, him and Freddie Woodman actually went to um, Newcastle and he became first choice goalkeeper under uh, Benitez there and it, it all, all sort of flowed from there. So you know he's earned his stripes. He's played in the Premier League. He's played in the Championship, um, and I think for us he'll be a safe par pair of hands. But like I said, what do I know? I'm only a fan. <laughs> Um, but the thing is, though, they are now in the Premier League. I don't think, listen, Hull wanted to keep him last year, uh, wanted to keep him this season, but they couldn't afford him. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, I think you can't use that as a barometer because he's been there like third, third choice goalkeeper. 
Um, I mean, you know, Dubravka's been their first choice for so long now. He's been their third choice goalkeeper. Doesn't mean to say he's crap. He had a great season on loan to Hull last last um, last season, Gil. So I think we need to look at the stats and, and, and just look at it objectively. Uh, what time is the game tonight and is it online? It is on Leeds United TV, Jim. Um, and it is at 7.45 kickoff. Um, so um, there you go. Um, really? Do you think? They've got some good strikers, though, haven't they? Brennan Johnson and Big T. Yeah, Big T. Alison, Keith Walsh, I have a few friends who are Hull City supporters and said Darlow was brilliant for them. Hope he'll be the same to us. That's what I'm saying. He, uh, he had a lot of love um, from the Tigers, didn't he, last season? Um, <clears throat> OK, 20 million for Melier. Thing is, would would Melier go to another championship club? And who is going to pay 20, 20 million for him in the championship? Let's have a look at the poll. At the moment, we've got Leeds United. Uh, will Dallas start as number one or number two for Leeds United behind Melier? 89% uh, of you, 87 votes in. 87% of you are saying he's going to be number one. 13% uh, are saying he's going to be number two. Guys, 265 in the house this morning. Please do smash a like. Um, that would be absolutely amazing. 156 likes so far. If we could possibly... Uh, um, to, uh, turn on smash those likes that would be uh amazing mick t you're very welcome mick isn't it a bit too early for beers <laughs> although quite frank I'm, I'm quite thirsty so i could probably do one and let's just see if i've got any more tea left oh gil have a good day mate have a good day oh kamara kamara is close apparently yes Glenn Kamara would be another good buy. I wonder how much we're going to get him for if we get him, of course. Um, I know I read this yesterday. Farker is training the players so hard they've been throwing up after training. So we should be absolutely, but I think we need to be. And I'm glad. I'm glad because that's basically what, what used to happen, uh, isn't it, with Bielsa? The, the, the difference is it's it's called, didn't, didn't, didn't somebody term it Bielsa with love? At the end of the day, um, they are, but then they're given the next day off, whereas Bielsa, they weren't. Um, and I think you have to balance it. Yeah, train them within an inch of their bloody lives on the day, uh, on the training ground, but give them the next day off, which is absolutely fair enough. But yeah, that was good to read because that is what they should be doing. We need to be the fittest team in the championship. Uh, we really, really do. Um, kicking off, and especially if we haven't got the strongest squad at the beginning, we need to be able to, we need to be able to out, out, you know, out, what's the word? We need to be b b the fittest squad, basically. Do you know what I mean? Um, good morning, Scottish Lees fan in the house. I haven't seen you here this morning. That is absolutely fantastic. You're very, very welcome, Davey, from Edinburgh. And it's sunny. I'm so jealous. Um, Colin said, worry as we're going into the season with the same defence. So far, I know. That worries me. We need those centre-backs in, don't we? We need a left-back. We need a centre-back. We desperately, desperately need these the positions filling. I'm praying that uh, our next signings, if we get if we get Darlo, are going to be the, the the back for the back line. Um, really? Okay. Is he one we're seriously looking at? I think I've mentioned him, haven't I, in my streams before? Sorry, Kabar or Kabar um, scored a bullet header in a conference league match. It's on Twitter. I would sign him. Cool. Uh, hopefully Cooper, um, Keith says, will be better this season in the championship because the Premier w was just too much for him. He couldn't read the game and did so many mistakes. Keith. Mm. Oh, I don't know what to say to that. I'm going to keep it closed. Um, Marcus. Yeah, okay, maybe. Andrew McGowan, good morning, Kate. Andrew, how are you? Melissa was only as good as a shit show defence in the in front of him, in all fairness. And Melissa, <laughs> is that Melissa McCarthy? Is she, is she playing in goal? <laughs> I think we mean Melier, right? 
<laughs> Sorry. Sometimes I read what you've put and it comes out all wrong and it just tickles me. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, Blinky. Melier will possibly be loaned out as his value will have plummeted. This will. Yes, I know. Will he be loaned out to um, a fellow championship club? Uh, or will he be loaned out abroad, do you think? Is that what's on the card? Could that use up our last loan to a, a foreign loan? Um, Adam Coons, good morning to you. And it's not the first time we've been in for Dala. We looked at him last season. Yes, so did. Who else was looking at him last season? Oh, was it Everton? <laughs> Steve Flack, good morning to you, my friend. How are you doing? Swap Paddy for Dennis and Lewis O'Brien. Yeah. I will be happy with that. I'm not, I don't know about Dennis. There was a, there was somebody messaged me the other day and said, please take, it was a Nottingham, Nottingham Forest fan on my, uh, on my comments on another video. And they actually said, please take Dennis off our hands. And I'm like, oh God, backroom attitude. I don't think he's a good, he's a positive dressing room influence. That's my only problem with him, uh, Bex. Spartan Hippie. Hi, Kate. We've been linked with Hamer and a lot more recently since he's rejected a new contract with Country. I know. Oh, I know. If only. I don't even think about these guys, you know. Um, yeah, Amanda. Yeah, he does look decent. I think Richard was talking about him yesterday. Yeah, and Jim says, sorry, Kaba or Kaba. I'm not sure, Jim, how we pronounce that. Looks legit. Josh G92 from Brizzy. How are you doing, my friend, in lovely Australia? Uh, Michael Pollard, did you see our slim jockey? I know, I know. I think I need to go and start training with them. Do you know what I mean? I really do. I wonder if they take me. Do you know how they've, like, taken Sam Byram on? Do you think they take me on to just, like, train with them and then perhaps, you know, put me in... Uh, maybe I could start. <laughs> in a behind, in a behind closed doors friendly where we're going to win 9-1. Mm. You sure it wasn't the other way around, that behind closed doors? But anyway, just saying. Leeds say good morning to you. Darlow was good at Forest. You're right, Paul. He was. Michael. Cooper is not, is too long in the tooth. Him and Ailing need to move on. Yeah, I think, I think they'll be come off the bench at times this season. I do think. I think what uh, Daniel Farg is doing at the moment is literally just testing out possible kind of formations and stuff, isn't he? Um... Yeah, Cooper, why can't fans understand he's four years older, injury prone than when we won? Championship is arguably, yeah, which is why he needs to be on the bench. He's too injury prone. Is that what you're saying, uh, Michael? No, I don't believe, I don't agree, Bjorn. It is, this season is more, this, 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 um, this, this league is more physical than last. There, there is a greater propensity for, um, players to get injured in this season, I would argue. Um, so we need players that are super fit. Remember what Bielsa said. Um, guys, people can't, um, people, um, players can't work at that intensity for more, uh, Bielsa intensity for more than two and a half years. That's why he needed squad depth moving in to the Premier League, which he didn't have. You know, which we will get when we, 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 we get back to the Premier League with the 49ers. But absolutely, you know, we need fit players. And I don't think, uh, I don't necessarily think that uh, our, our Liam, Liam Cooper is the fittest. Um, yeah, absolutely. You, you could be right. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Dennis is not a number nine, says Josh. Um, Steve Flack, Yorkshire tea in hand, good for you. I wish I had. God, I've got a cold, I've got a cup of cold char here. Mm -mm -mm. It's not Yorkshire tea either, mine. I have to say. Uh, I heard from commentary side we weren't in for Hamer at the moment. Blink said, "Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't think we will." That's why I haven't been sort of chatting about him. Yeah, you're right. P Jim says Paddy Burley looks a, a number nine. A Danny Care Morning from a sunny East End Park. Good morning to you. Guys, can I just talk a little bit um, about the, um, the, can I just talk about the, um, 
the new plans from the 49ers. What do we all think about that? If you look at my video that I put out yesterday with the Leeds News Roundup, um, basically uh, I put some, some photographs up of the old 49ers uh, park, the uh, Candlestick Park and the new 49ers Stadium at um, the Levi Stadium in Silicon Valley. I also put a, put a, um, a picture up of, um, yeah, the sort of the ground around um, Ellen Road. At the end of the day, what they have got planned is spectacular and I cannot wait. And, you know, um, I don't think, one thing that I thought actually was that when, when Parag Marathe was talking in his initial interview, um, he was talking about the fact that, you know, maybe the, um, you know, maybe uh, the stadium wasn't at the forefront of their plans, but now they are moving full steam ahead with um, with new uh, stadium, um, uh, sort of looking at planet, looking at planning and um you know, they've been in touch with, with Leeds City Council regarding the development of the 20 acres they've got around the ground. Uh, that they, 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 they want to redevelop it. They want to make it into a, a, um, a transport hub, which leads south, leads to the city centre. And there will be more development around that. If you've ever been, I don't know, probably loads of you have, you ever been to a um, uh, an American um an American uh, match or game of any description. My, my, I've got to say, hands up, my only uh, experience of going to watch sport in the US is basketball. Uh, I've been to watch a couple of basketball games. And at the end of the day, it's a totally different experience. It is just like, it's slick. It's so slick. And while, you know, you don't want to lose a historical kind of bit rough around the edges, raw appeal of Ellen Road, of course you don't. It deserves so much more. And it deserves to be a slick operation. Everything is just so slick. You know, everything functions just like like clockwork. And that's what we want. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I think, we're, I think that's what we're going to get with the 49ers. And I am really buzzing about this new uh, stadium. Let's see what you are saying. Good morning, Julie Knight. How are you, my lovely? Thanks for your comments on my videos. I really, really appreciate them. Uh, plenty of tickets available. Leeds Shrewsbury online is there. Yeah, not interested in that, mate. Uh, do you know what? Who's interested in a cup run? <laughs> uh, guys, we've got 112 um, votes on the uh, poll. Will Darlow start at number one? He is um, absolutely, uh, yeah. 85% of you are um, saying that Darlow will be number one and Melio will be number two. I'm going to put another poll up here. I'm going to end that one. I'm going to put another quick poll up. We are going for, let's have a look. Uh, we're going to do, um, so there is the poll results, just moving up the chat. I'm going to put another one. Um, yeah, there's simple yes or no. Should we be worried about a cup run this year? In my opinion, no. Not interested. Really not interested. But thanks for letting us know, Marcus, those of you who are interested. It doesn't mean to say you're not interested. It's just me. Um, so, yeah. Um, yes. Uh, Byram is also by my average. Absolutely. Yeah, I, he is. And, you know, there's, there's still oh, bloody thing. There's still um, guys, there's still a lot of talk about what his what what their plans are for him. That's what worries me. I don't want him to, to, to be full time in our team. Um, and, you know, I, I don't think he's good enough. I, I don't think that's what we should be looking at. But then again, what do you think? What do you say? You, you, you've got to trust Daniel Farker, haven't you? You cannot, you cannot on one hand say, oh, yeah, you know, I, I trust him and then go, yeah, but, you know, he wants some Byron um, as, as left back. Maybe he thinks he can... Maybe he thinks we can limp along with him until Christmas, till the January transfer window. I don't know. Uh, Mark, good morning. Yeah, I think it will be within the year. Maybe Sam Byram is going to be like signed on a paper play or something like that. Morning, Mark. Uh, we heard Dennis was a negative influence in the dressing room before we got him. Oh, Mark is a Forest fan. I'm going to put this on. Yes, uh, Mark's a Forest fan and Mark is going to uh, the Pirelli Stadium in Burton tonight to... Um, to watch the match. A morning, Kate, but I think he does like Leeds as well. We heard Dennis was a negative influence in the dressing room before we got him, but I haven't heard anything bad while he's been with us. Just doesn't fit within our style of play. Fair enough. 
That is from the horse's mouth. That is from the mouth of a forest fan. So what do I know? Again, you know, at the end of the day, uh, he could very well be. Um, Lead Sayer, I thought Stroke sounded relaxed in his interview. I think Farker's working his magic on him. Yes. I think Daniel Farker is a great person manager, isn't he? A man manager, isn't he? He's he's that's what I get from him. The whole training, you know, yes, players are thrown up at the side of the pitch, but they're getting the time to to um to, to sort of recuperate. Be also with love. And I think that's what he's doing with Stroik. You could be very, very right. Um, because there's nothing worse than seeing Pascal Stroik running around like just not knowing what he's doing. Again, lack of confidence from last season. And you know, we could trace all this back to um back to getting rid of Bielsa can't we um but we don't want to you know re, re, you know we don't wanna revisit that but yeah he hasn't had I think Farker is very good at giving people TLC isn't he you know and at the end of the day these guys are really young um you know some of them are like you know 19 20 you know Pascal's still only really young so um you know, uh, I think you, I think you're right, Leeds Sayer. Um, yes, Stephen. But as I've just mentioned, I don't. You know, young, lack of confidence, played out of position. You know. Uh, yes, you're absolutely right, Steve. But also wanted a fresh team after the first season back in the Prem, but it's biting us in the butt now again. That's down to mismanagement, as I mentioned in my uh, Leeds news yesterday uh, about the guy from. Um, Adam Davis, who is a uh, sports, no, he's he's a financial management consultant. He works in sports. He's worked in sport in in in, in uh, across a load of uh, clubs. He's, um, you know, um, I can't remember what he was. I don't think I put it yesterday in my thing. Um, but he said that the state we're in at the moment is a symptom of the pure, pure poor recruitment uh, from the recent past. Um, so, you know, he's, he's, uh, and moving into the championship, not only do we have FFP, we're going to lose 50% of our revenue. You know, everything's gone down. Um, match day revenues, um, gone down by 64%, broadcasting by 49% and merchandise, sorry, commercial revenue by 50%. So we're not in a great, we're not in great shape in that respect. Um, and which is why we're finding all these, um, we're finding it difficult to get players coming in. But um, so, yeah. And, and what else was? It? Oh, yeah. I also liked about that, that um, that thing, that the, the, the article uh, that they were talking about um, in the Daily Mail about the fact that they want to increase our match day revenue from one million to five million. I mean, how amazing is that? What vision? That's what I love about the 49ers. They've got vision. You know, instead of going month to month like Rads and Orta did, we've got vision for the first time in as far as I can I can remember. And it feels really good. Um, let's have a look. All in, trying to see nonsense. Uh, let's have a look. Michael, um, Leeds Sayer. Um, I thought that too, Evie says. I think Fark is bringing the fun back, which is what he, sh he said it should be. Absolutely. Who wants to go to work every day and have a crap time? and be miserable and, de and depressed and watch your confidence, um, you know, you know, deplete on a daily basis. It's dreadful. Um, Michael, I'll oh, bless you. Thank you. Marcelo was right. He was let down by Orta and co. Now we are stuck with a defence that is like a sieve. We need a proper proven goal scorer. You're absolutely right. Spot on, mate. Absolutely spot on. Um, but I kind of think that with this, this Darlow signing, I, I know we're getting him from Steele, if that is correct. Do you know what? This, I'm so sorry. I will sort this out. I don't know what is going on with my camera this morning. Um, but um, I always try and sort stuff out. <laughs> um, but you're absolutely right. Um, I, I do feel with this Darlow signing at the end of the day, guys, that we are, you know, we're starting to get our ducks in a row. It might be a slow process, but slow and steady wins the race. Look at the hair and the tortoise. Um, Headers Brown, good morning to you. Sell Somerville, Nonto, Melio, Bamford, Gelhart, Aiden, Cooper, Greenwood, Rutter, Paveda. Sell them all, not good enough to wear the shirt. Give them all away for free. Big, oh, Headers. Headers, that's a bit, that's a bit, um, that's a bit. Over the top, isn't it, mate? Uh, Bjorn, where'd you get this from? Who's that? Who are you talking about? Guys, uh, 248 in the house this morning. A really big, uh, a big, um, a big, 
what can I say? I forgot my word. A big sort of community, breakfast club community this morning, and you're all very, very welcome. Please do smash a like on the video and hit subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That really does help us out. Um, let's have a look. Uh, Phillips needs to come back in, seeing him yesterday. He's got a belly. Yeah, I know. Uh, mind you, he says Grealish. It's all that alcohol, alcohol they've been drinking over the summer, but you know, guys, they work their asses off right throughout the year. So, you know, fair play. Adam and Eve, would you? Adam and Eve, it. Adam and Eve are in the house. Good morning. You stay away from those apples. Um, the Levi Stadium isn't as popular as some would have you believe. It's in a desert. The main stand has no shade, so fans get heat stroke, but the rich fans have a quality experience. Well, Interesting point that you just said that about the rich fans getting a quality experience because what they want to do is up the, the hospitality offering, isn't it? The North and East Stand um, at Ellen Road, which again um, does uh, benefit people with money, doesn't it? Um, but, you know, I don't know, Jim. I don't know what's the answer. I don't think that uh, there's any, any chance of, um, you know, the main stand being you know people getting heat stroke at ellen road do you so i think we can all sort of rest easy um stephen i th there's no plans but i did see a document the other day yes document online and i have sort of downloaded it from a while ago about there was a sort of planning study done around ellen road uh so i don't think there's any uh, things but i'll tell you who le who's leading the development is pete lowey um is doing that um yeah, absolutely. You're absolutely right, chilled Scotty. Um, chilled D Scotty eighty two. Yeah, don't care about the don't care about the uh, cups. Let's have a look. We've got. Um, Guys, we've got 74 votes. 80% are saying no, a cup run is not important. So let's just have a look. Can I just say, and I just want to celebrate. Um, I want to, what am I doing? So I'm just going to get rid of that. I want to celebrate um, Colin. Colin Blackshaw, mate, being a member of the Leeds Bird Collective for one whole month colin yep there you go colin mate welcome keep 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 uh keep your comments coming in and it's an absolute uh, privilege to have you with us in the leesburg collective i do appreciate it um let's have a look what else we've got um alison all oh, right okay a blurry picture yeah, here we go. Colin Blackshaw celebrates one month of member membership. That month went, went fast. Guys, give Colin a round of applause. Give Colin some love. Because he is in here every day without fail and always con contributes so much. So thank you so much for that. <laughs> <I know. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alison, guys, you're absolutely right. <laughs> chill blains and and, and and uh you know severe flu i would i would think from uh from 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 being in 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 ellen road god i mean listen i was supposed to go to the match on saturday as you all know i didn't end up going do you know why because <laughs> it was pissing down i thought there's absolutely no way i'm standing uh that i know call me what you like you know i'm I'm not a fair weather fan. <clears throat> I can deal with cold better than I can with rain, right? I just can't deal with the rain. I can't stand there in the rain. I can deal with the cold because I can get wrapped up. But the cold and the rain, and uh, no. It's not happening. It's not It's not happening, guys. Um, let's have a look. Um, who else have we got? got in the chat let's have a look at the poll yeah 80 percent of you are saying that um oh no in fact we, we, we're not we've got 75 percent, 78 votes to 79 percent of you say no we should not be uh worried about a a cup run this year and 21 of you say that we we should be wow 
Good morning, James Gibson. How are you doing? A very warm welcome to you and my dodgy camera, which is, God, you know, I need to sort this out. I don't know what's going on. Um, let's have a look. Um, Josh G92, I'll bring some warm weather when weather from Oz. When I come to Ellen Road for a game, when's that going to be, Josh? When are you coming to Ellen Road for a game? Um, I know. Oh, really, Lewis? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I don't know. It, it's just, I just wasn't in the right mood to get rained on. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I was actually driving. I was driving up. And, I, and, and as I was driving, the rain was absolutely torrential when I was driving up. And I had to kind of make a decision whether I was going to keep driving um, or because I was stopping off at York for the game. And I don't, I just couldn't bear it. I couldn't bear it. I couldn't bear the thought of being stuck out there getting absolutely, because because the rain was so torrential from where I was driving from. Evie was there. Yeah, all our sort of, uh, the, that wind comes over West Stand into the top over the East End. Cuts, I know. When I was there in, um, in January last year, uh, no, this year, at the Brentford match, that nil-nil draw, um, I was freezing. Do you know what? And I had a pair of Vans on, and they're not the warmest. They're not the warmest shoes. Um, I was absolutely freezing. Oh, really, James? That would be great, wouldn't it? Alison Adams, yeah, as Irish, a weather beater, stood in t-shirts and shorts in October. Oh my God! Do you know what, Alison? I really want to come over there. I really want to come over there to where you are. You actually in Belfast? Because I would love to come to Belfast for um, a weekend um, because um, I've never been. I've only been to Southern Ireland. Um, I want to go. I want to go around the Titanic Museum and I want to go to the. Um, uh, I want to drink some Guinness and yeah just see what it's like. I just love it. I love the accent. I love the people. Absolutely love it. Um, am I weird? <laughs> I just do. I can't help it. Uh, oh God, don't get me on about that. No, I know, wasn't it? And all you could see is little, little like, um, little uh, Lilliputian Jesse Marsh bouncing around on the, uh, on the touchline with his hands in his pockets. Uh, anyway, uh, Blink said it was finally started drizzling in the second half and dried up by full time. Oh, I don't know, Abdul. I don't know. What is it, uh, Evie? You can tell us. You can tell us. Right, guys, listen. Oh, really? That's a good, that's a good idea. Stick a heat pack on, on your back. That's a really good idea. You see, it's my feet that get the coldest, Jennifer. And if cause you've got a hat on, obviously, and if your feet get cold, then that's it. What I need to do is get some warmer shoes um, and, and take a big heat pack with me, yeah. Oh, wow, Alison, that's amazing. Oh, really? I enjoyed Amper doing great the most. So Dan James was our best goal threat, but no one was giving in the ball. I was in the Bet West Stand. Did you enjoy it? Oh, God, I wish I'd gone now. Yes, absolutely. Could you imagine? A night out. Uh, oh, eight and a half thousand is the LNER stadium. No, you didn't, Blinky. Oh, don't say that. Did you get a picture? If you got a picture, send it to me. Um, yeah, I know, but are you so Jennifer puts the walking boots on 
Um, Richard says, wear up to six socks. I know, I wasn't dressed for it. I was, you know, I was, I was going for, what was I going over? Style over comfort. Yeah, style over comfort. Thermals, yeah, absolutely. Do you know what, Alison, I will. At some point, I will. Um, yeah, he had socks. God, guys. Basically, I need a kit, don't I? I need a match day kit. So I just go in my closet and I just pull it all out. The socks, the heat packs, the um, the, the 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 shoes. So I've, I've got it all there waiting for me instead of scratting around for something to wear at the last. Um... Yeah, I know, Evie. Evie, you going tonight? Oh, God. Oh, Blinky. Oh my God, no. Oh, Tash. Oh, Tash, mate. Listen, mental health, you've got to look after it. Um, I have mental health, I, I suffer with my mental health as well. Uh, I make no bones about the fact because I think that the more we talk about it, um, the more uh, people feel as if they can talk about it and there's nothing to be ashamed of, guys. Uh, so listen, I do get you. I do understand. So you look after yourself, seriously. Just take some me time, some me time. Even if it's just little snippets throughout the day, some me time. Let's have a look. Uh, thick heated socks, yeah. Jennifer's going to survive the purge. Honestly. The, the screaming at Willie was like girls at an 80s Duran Duran concert. Oh, God, I'm so jealous. Oh, Tanya. Good morning to you in beautiful Jerusalem. I don't think Melia will accept being number two. He didn't even want to be number two at Chelsea. He'll go out and loan. I think you're right, Tanya. The question is, does he go to a, a championship side or does he go away? Would he be, be our final um, loanee um, overseas? Right, guys, listen, it's been an absolute joy this morning. I have absolutely... Um, I've absolutely loved it. Scottish Leeds fan, um, a member of the channel. Um, you can see the, the, the guys who've got a little sunshine on here are the, are the channel members, by the way. Um, and you've, I can see you just become a member. You're very, very welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Um, Blink says, Danny was great at security. We're trying to get him on the bus, but he stopped. Oh my God, I'm so jealous. Oh, Blinks. Anyway, you guys have been an absolute joy this morning. Um, uh, you know what I mean? Um, and I, I listen, fingers crossed we win tonight. Oh, I know. Who does that remind you of? Football's football is for the fans, Evie. You're absolutely, you're absolutely right. Um, Guys, what can I say? I don't want to go, but I have to. I've got loads to do and uh, I could sit on here all day. But I was I was literally I've had a, a great time. Um, thank you for all your support, guys. Thanks for all the likes. Thanks for all the super chats. Thanks for all the, the comments on the videos. And uh, you take care of yourselves. Enjoy the game tonight. Remember, football is for the fans and it should always be fun. And uh, we should try and uh, see, see, see fun in it a little bit more than we do. You have a great day. Stay safe and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye.